morning, brethren. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. There was a time in the past, brethren, when uh, different ones had to be afraid to look upon God. But that time has passed now, and we are living in the day of salvation. God has satisfied himself by removing the veil, and now he is pleased to display his glory to those who will look upon him. This morning, as we open this meeting, I want to encourage us to look. Expect to receive from Christ today. This is the day the Lord has made, and it is good. And he is willing to give abundantly to those who are looking. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look one upon the other? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get down thither and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. So we who are looking, we have seen that there is corn here. And a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on, wines on the leaves, a feast of things full of marrow, of wines on the leaves well refined. So lo, let us say, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him, and we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. We have come here to buy things that are more valuable than silver and gold. Can you see this, brethren? We do not have to die. So we want to look to this. He will provide for you even now if you will look. He has much to offer, so you must look and see what he has to offer for us today. And there is more than one of us that can gather these things. There's plenty to go around. So let's look this morning to see what kind of dainties he has prepared for us. And some of these things will minister to the whole body together. And some of them will be for just each individual part. But there will be something for everyone here that will look. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go in the temple, asked alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look upon us. And he gave them heed, expecting to receive something from them. And what did they give them? Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I will give thee. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. This morning we have ones that have things to give us as well. And what they have, they have brought to give us. This man, whenever um, they gave him what they had, they lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankles and ankle bones were uh, received strength and he leaped up and he was praising God and going through the temple so are your feet and ankles weakened this morning have you been brought down by things in the world well we have those this morning that will minister unto you precious things that will lift you up and strengthen you um, they have brought these things for you so I want to encourage you this morning to minister to them as well Minister to these ones that have brought things before you with your countenance. Pay attention. Um, be awake. Be sober. Consider the things that they have said. See what the Lord has given them and expect to receive something from each one that is up here to speak this morning. This is how the Lord ministers to his body today. He, uh, you know, in, in different times we've seen where he, God spoke out of heaven. Well, this is him speaking today to us through the different members of his body. And we are not the only ones that desire to look this morning. We know the angels also desire to look into the things that will be said. And also God is looking, and we want God to look. Psalm 85, 11, 12 says, Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. So he's given us what is good today, and he, he is yielding the increase. He's the one that's making these things to increase. So let's look for what he is giving. Let's gather what he has for us. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. 
So I want our Lord to look upon our meeting today, and I want him to see the things that, that we have pondered upon that he has given us and see what we do with them. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? And we ask our Lord to look upon our afflictions. He'll take care of them. If we throw our burdens upon the Lord, he will help us. If we want to see Jesus Christ and if we are willing to look, the Lord will provide the things for us to see. So what other things can we look for this morning? Well, let's not look at the things which are seen, but the things which are unseen. Um, we know that the things which are seen are temporal. They'll pass away. But the things which are not seen are eternal. So let's not look and think on the things that are temporal today. Let us cast all our, our burdens upon the Lord. Let us put off the weight that so easily entangles us today. We've been given a special time to gather together and to be able to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. So, so let's set our minds to do this. Just as Jesus set his face to Jerusalem, let's set our minds on, on getting as much as we can. Uh, we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body. And he's doing this right now. He's changing us just as we speak. Then it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Our Lord is able to do this. So let's look for him to do this in us, in each one of us. And also look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, brethren. It's closer than it was just a few seconds ago. Praise the Lord. So let us take heed to ourselves, too, that we, we are not overcome by the things of the world, but that we watch and pray always that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and be able to stand before the Son of Man in, in the last day. Because we know our Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The things that he says will happen, they will happen to, to, his, to his children and to the ones that are uh, disobedient, that do not follow after Christ. So his promise is sure for all. And uh, we want to be those ones that, that have favor, that the countenance of the God is upon us and he looks in favor towards us this morning. So look and see what the Lord will provide. We will open up in prayer for Sister June, who has our class teaching and discussion.